left-handed hitter this inning, Matt Joyce. Off to a good start as he strikes out. Matt Joyce. So change-ups from Anderson look to the hitter like they're a cross-seat fastball. At, at no point until it's about three feet from the plate, you realize it's a lot slower than the fastball. Tierra playing center field in place of Starling Marte, who is not on this postseason roster. And a wave and a miss by Sierra. Four early strikeouts for the rookie right-hander. A couple of scoreless innings have started the afternoon. We go to the bottom of the second. Two gone now for Dansby Swanson. Swanson with a drive out to left field. That ball well hit. Dickerson looking up. And that one is gone! Second of this postseason for Dansby Swanson. And from a guy that doesn't give up a lot, Pablo Lopez allowed only four homers. 57-plus innings of work during the regular season. 1-0 at Atlanta. Wallach against Ian Anderson in the third. And a swing and a miss. That's five first time through the order for Ian Anderson. Back to the top of the order now. Corey Dickerson, who struck out in his first try today. Swung on and missed. Good change out. That had a big tail on it. Six strikeouts now for Ian Anderson. It's going to be up to Freddie Freeman now with two out. Right now to Strand, a leadoff double to 1-2. And Freeman hits it on the ground. It's smothered by Birdie to his feet to first to save a run. A fantastic play by the veteran John Birdie. Four strikeouts for Lopez. And now it's Travis Garno. Oh, boy. That ball doesn't have a chance to stick around. Another homer in the series for Travis Garno. We talked about how infrequent it is for Lopez to get touched up with homers. That's just the first time he's given up multiple home runs in a game. Ball and two strikes. It is the count to Austin Riley, who struck out with a runner in second to start the third. And strikes out with a runner in first. Two gone. Ronald Acuna, who has struck out twice. Wow, that's impressive. A big strikeout by Pablo Lopez. Part of a terrific day for him. This is Aguilar for the plate. One for two with a single. But he goes down swinging here. Two away for Anderson. Good at bat, good battle, but it looks like maybe he got him with a changeup again. There it is, that three-finger cross-seam changeup. And then right at the end, bottom falls out of it. Tough to lay off. With some effort again by Anderson, he's got a chance to win his first two postseason starts, which will put him in the history book. First pitching change of the game. Another postseason gem by the rookie, Ian Anderson. The bases are loaded now. Matt Joyce, the veteran left-handed bat, 0 for 2, had a pitch hit single yesterday. And on the first pitch, a bouncer up the line for Freeman. And the bases are left loaded in the top of the sixth. Miguel Rojas is the first to face the new pitcher on the mound for the Atlanta Braves. Tyler Matzik, and Matzik struck out all three he faced yesterday. Wow. He struck out all four he's faced in the series. Rojas didn't agree with that. Well, a lot of that's off the previous event. He had a pitch that would have been ball four that he didn't like. This is a good situation. Two gone now for Chad Wallach. Wallach sends a ball into the opposite corner. That could be trouble. Marquez is just shy of the wall to put it away and retire the side. Ronald Acuna has been held quiet. Means he's due. One, two. Oh, and they get him for a fourth time today. Got him at the top of the zone that time it looked like. And yeah, the Marlins are down to their final out today. Miguel Rojas will try to keep game two alive for the Marlins. He's had a frustrating afternoon. Back up the middle for Albies. And the Atlanta Braves have become just the third team in Major League history to spin three shutouts through their first four postseason games in a year. Back up the middle for Albies. And the Atlanta Braves have become just the third team in Major League history to spin three shutouts through their first four postseason games in a year. The 1966 Orioles and the 05 New York Giants. The 24-year-old right-hander Pablo Lopez, whose last start came back on September 24th. It's been 12 days between actual game assignments. 0-2 to Ronald Acuna, and yeah. Lopez makes quick work of him on the changeup. One gone. It's on the way. And the ball gets under one, lifts a high fly ball. And it's carrying well to right, but right back there at the base of the fence is Matt Joyce to make the catch. 
He's never had hit over five all time against Pablo. Swing and a miss. And Lopez strikes him out. Another changeup. As consistently as a player like Acuna has been. What a privilege. And Lopez strikes him out again. Pablo's come back to strike out first. Riley now Acuna. On one, two. Swing and a miss. Got him with another change. So Pablo Lopez with his fourth strikeout. His third and the last inning and a third. And now look, a lot of the uh, fans of advanced metrics, ball and two strikes, is the count to Austin Riley, who struck out with a runner at second to start the third. He strikes out with a runner at first. Two gone. Richard Blyer perhaps getting ready if Freddie Freeman hits this inning. That won't be needed. Wow. That's impressive. A big strikeout by Pablo Lopez. 